I'm going to show you everything you need to do to get the SRT up and running. I made a video about this before, but there have been a lot of changes, so I figured I'd make an updated version. So the first thing we want to do, I'm going to go to desktop view here, and we're going to first pull up our Discord, make sure Discord's up and running, and then from there, I want to pull up in a browser and go to speedrun.com and just search here for Resident Evil Village. Go here. And with Discord already up, click this Discord link over here on the left side. And you might have to click something here as well. And you can just close this out once you've actually joined the Discord. And we'll minimize this. So with the RE8, or the RE Village Discord here, we're going to go down to the main section. We're going to look for tools and development like this. And then we want to look at pinned messages. We're going to go here. And the main thing we're going to be looking at is scroll towards the bottom. This big section right here, all of this right here is like the good stuff. So there's a jump feature. Just click this here and you can make this bigger. The main parts we're going to be looking at are the two required parts here, which is .NET Core and the host package. So these two are very important. And then I'm going to do an optional one, which is the DirectX overlay. And I'll talk through what that is once I get it going. So first things first, let's get .NET Core if you don't already have it. So click this link here and save. And then my downloads pop up right here. I'm going to click this and I already have the latest version. So my only options are repair and uninstall and close. So just install, update, whatever you have and you know, go through all that and we'll cancel. Yes. So once you have that done, then we go to our next required part, which is right here, the host package. This is the main bit. So click this one here, save it. And then my downloads, like I said, are here. So we're going to open here. And now at this point, I want to actually make a folder to drop all this into. I'm going to pull up File Explorer. I'm going to go to Documents. And we're going to go New, Folder, and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to do RE Village SRT and then drill down into it like so. And then I'm just going to extract. You can probably just highlight this and toss it all in there, but I like to do it the fancy way <laughs> um, but this pops up when you hit extract browse and we go to our newly made folder here and select extract like so there we go so we have documents folder we made and then all this is in there now and then i'm just gonna exit out of this one now this is what we have currently and now at this point i'm going to go back to discord and I'm going to get the DirectX overlay. So we already have .NET or .NET Core, which is required. We have the host package, which is required, though. So that's like the bare minimum, and you, you can actually already be up and running at that point. But this is the, the optional part, DirectX overlay, that I'm going to grab. So I'm going to click this, save it, and go here, open this. And this folder I'm going to extract to kind of what we just made. So we're going to browse. And instead of extracting it to the SRT folder we made, we're going to drill down into plugins and we're going to drop it here. Extract that. And then we can close out of the old one. Close out these browsers. And this is what we have now. So we have this this bit here, go into plugins, and this is what you see. So this is the optional one, and these two were downloaded with the link we first clicked. Okay, so we have everything we need. Now it's a matter of running the SRT um, and just modifying and figuring things, how you want it to look. Okay, so... I'm going to minimize Discord for now. Go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, so here we are. Let's go to this folder here. And this is the actual SRT host 64 executable that we want. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to drag this since we're going to be using this a lot. Every time you need the SRT running, you're going to have to run this link. So I'm going to right click and drag over to my desktop and create a shortcut. And then I'm going to go down into properties of that shortcut and go to compatibility tab and select run this program as administrator and OK it. That here. All right. So RE uh, Village is already running right now. So let's go ahead and see what the SRT looks like whenever we click and run this. So this is what pops up here, this window. And then this might pop up if, if it's your first time. So I like to check both boxes and then allow access. Now to get the viewer to be able to see what we're seeing, essentially, we're going to go back to Discord and we're going to go to pin messages and copy this link right here. Okay. And close that out. And we're going to add a browser source like so. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine SRT overlay and OK it. And then this is by default what pops up. So in the URL box, paste in the link we just copied and OK it. And this is what you're going to see. I'm just going to move it right down here. Okay. Now we want to modify this because it's too much information and it's too wide. So to do that, we're going to click on properties. Okay. And we're going to change the width from 800 to about 400 and OK that. And that's what it looks like now. It's pretty nice and neat. And now we're going to want to get rid of the extra information. So if you go to Discord and the pin messages, you can actually see right here it has all the parameters. The ones I'm going to use are event, position, and debug. So remember that. And it shows you exactly what you need to type in. So we're going to go back to properties like so. And we're going to add in question mark event equals zero ampersand uh, position equals zero other ampersand and debug equals zero. Okay. And that's going to get rid of all of the extra info that the viewers probably don't care to see. So okay that. And now this is all we have. Um, the actual enemy health bars don't pop up until you encounter one in the game. So we'll see that uh, when we show it at the very end of the video. So this is what we have so far. Now let's add that to our actual game. So we have the SRT overlay made as the browser source. Now we're going to our actual game here. And I'm in on OBS right now. I'm clicking the plus sign and I'm adding browser and I'm adding existing and I'm clicking SRT overlay. Okay, so now you can actually see it. Something to keep in mind here is whenever you have auto saves happening and whatnot, there's going to be a little icon at the top left ish of your screen. Make sure this SRT isn't on top of it so you can see it easily. You want it very clear when that's happening because that can be an issue with submitting runs. Uh, so yes, maybe just drag it down a little bit wherever you want it. Maybe about this far should be fine. And you can make it a little bigger or whatever. Make it a touch bigger here, like so. Okay, so that's about what we have right now. Now at this point, we want to look into modifying the actual DirectX overlay, which is what you will see if you're using it when you're actually running the game on the same screen as your as Village. So go back to desktop real fast. And we're going to uh, modify that folder. So first thing you need to do to modify the DirectX overlay is this window here. You want to hit Control C and then Control C again to close it out. And then that will generate a config file. So you can go here, go into plugins, go into the DirectX overlay folder, and you'll see a config file right here. Double click that. And this is what we actually want to modify. So I'm going to go with show player position equals false. I can never type false, right? Um, and then we're going, this is a little redundant, I believe. I'm going to get rid of the X, Y, Z coordinate strings. I'm going to change the scaling factor from one to about 1.25 to make it a little bit bigger. And I think that's all I want to do. So just exit out and save this. And then you can go back to the main folder or use your shortcut that you created 
um, and just get the SRT up and running again. So let's just use our shortcut we made and running as admin and this pops up again. And then go to our game just to show this is what we're seeing here for the viewer and then we are actually seeing this right here uh, one more thing I want to change real fast uh, the position the Y position is really far down so let me go modify that real fast again which is fine so you can show it, see how this is done again so control C control C to close it out and then you go drilled into plugins DirectX overlay config file and our Y position here, we're going to change to about one, let's go like 135, exit out, save it, and go back to uh, run the SRT again. This pops up. Okay, it's up and going, and then we go second monitor so you can actually see. So you see it moved up quite a bit. One last thing I wanted to show is how this actually looks whenever we're playing the game. So let's go to PC, which is my game capture. So this is what a viewer would actually see. And let's load up a file. Let's go to Mr. Moreau here. Should be good. And you can see how everything populates. So look at Ethan's health bar at the top. It should bump up green. There we go. And now once we aggro the boss and actually do damage to him, you should see his health bar pop up. Okay, there you go. So this is what the viewer sees, and if you go back here to the monitor capture, this is what you're going to be seeing when you're playing, if you have DirectX overlay. So that's pretty much it for the, um, let's see, let's get rid of this on the desktop view. That's pretty much it for the SRT. Like I said, they're updating this a lot, and we still have more good things to come, such as inventory, going to be showing in the SRT, which is going to be amazing. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best I can to answer them. And um, the actual Discord here, these guys are really, really helpful. So you can just, if I jump to present here, you can actually see them going back and forth with different runners and whatnot, asking questions, and they're constantly answering. So super helpful. I remember the pin section here, a lot of good information. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and uh, best of luck.